In this video, I want to explain how do you know whether or not to use 9.8 meters per second squared or negative 9.8 meters per second, per second squared for the acceleration um, when you're dealing with free fall or projectile motion. So first, I want to clarify that the symbol G is referring to the acceleration due to gravity. And this number is different depending on what planet you're, you're on. And on Earth, it is uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. So, so this is uh, going to be a positive number. When we talk about G, it's just a positive number. However, the question isn't about what is G. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. The question is with the acceleration. So is the acceleration 9.8 or negative 9.8? meters per second g. So that's the question we're looking at. So the answer has to do with, it depends on your positive direction. What direction are you defining as positive? Are you defining down as positive? In that case, your acceleration would be 9.8. Or are you defining up as positive um, and your acceleration will be a negative 9.8? And the reason for this is because the acceleration due to gravity, it is in the down direction. Okay. So it is in the down direction. And so let's take a look at an example because whether you use a positive 9.8 uh, or negative 9.8 depends on the direction that you define as positive. And as long as you're consistent, you will get the correct answer. So let me uh, give you an example. So let's say we uh, shoot a ball up into the air and I'm going to solve this problem twice. Okay. So we're going to solve it twice. So here's my ball. I'm going to shoot it up into the air, and this is going to be its delta y, and it's going to be up there. We're going to make, on this one, we're making down positive, down positive, and we're shooting up with a velocity of 60 meters per second, okay? I'm going to do the same experiment. I'm going to shoot it up 60 meters per second, and it's going to have a vertical displacement of delta y, but this time, and the ball is going to go up there, but this time over here, I'm going to make up positive. Okay, so we have down positive, up positive. So I'm going to solve it using both um, directions for the positive direction. The first thing I like to do with these kind of problems is to create a variables chart. So delta y, vi, vf, a, and t. Delta y, vi, vf, a, and t. So I know that the initial velocity here is 60 meters per second, but notice I made down positive, so this is going up. So this will be a negative 60 meters per second squared. At the highest point, the velocity is zero. That's the peak height, right, the maximum height. The acceleration is in down direction, which is, which I define down as positive. So this will be a positive 9.8 meters per second squared. And I'm looking for how high is it gonna go? What is, what is the height? maximum height that this ball gets launched up to, okay? Uh, I'm going to do the same, solve for the same thing over here. Uh, the initial this time is going to be a positive 60 meters per second because it's moving in the positive direction. The peak height has a velocity of zero at the very highest point. It's got zero velocity. And the acceleration, because acceleration due to gravity is down, down, and I define up as positive, so the acceleration due to gravity is going to be a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now I am going to use my kinematic equations to uh, solve for this problem. I will be using Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2A delta Y. I'll do that over here as well. V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2A delta Y. I know my final is going to be zero. My initial is a negative 60, and this will be squared, plus 2AA is 9.8, and my delta Y is what I'm looking for. Negative 60 squared is 3,600, plus 2 times 9.8 is 19.6 delta Y. I'm going to subtract 3,600 on both sides, so... I get 3,600 on the left. On the right, I get 19.6 times delta Y. If I solve for delta Y, uh, I get a negative 184 meters. 
Okay, so that's if I make down positive. Now let's solve it for if I made up positive. So this will be zero. This will be a positive 60 squared plus two times. Now this time, this will be a negative 9.8 times delta y. Okay, so I have zero equals three, six, zero, zero plus two times 9.8 is negative is 19.6, but this time it'll be a negative, negative 19.6 times delta y. I'm going to subtract 3600 on both sides. I get negative 3600 on the left equal to negative 19.6 times delta y. The negatives cancel out and I get that delta y is equal to 3600 divided by 19.6. I get 184 meters. Okay, so question. Did I end up getting the same answer? Answer is yes. And you might say, look, the answer looked different. This is negative, this is positive. So this has a vertical displacement of negative. So this is going up. This, sorry, this is negative. So it's telling me that it's going in the negative direction, 184 meters. So it's going this direction, negative direction, 184. So that would be up there, okay? That would be telling you up there at this location. All right, now this one is a positive 184, positive. So it's saying it's going in the positive direction, 184, and that's also over there. Okay, so in both situations, okay, whether I make down positive or up positive, I'm going to get the same answer as long as long as I am consistent with the direction I define as positive. I don't change it midway. I have to stick to that direction throughout the whole time that I'm working through the problem. 